Hey, today we're taking a look at the Alltech Lansing Mini Life Jacket Jolt. Now, this is one of the many uh, speakers Alltech Lansing uh, puts out uh, in their small speaker line. And we're going to review this one and uh, have a little sound demo. We're going to do that after we kick the intro. So to get some of the technical aspects out of the way, uh, this is Siri and Google Voice Assistant capable. Uh, house, pa house party pairing, uh, now this is up to 50 speakers. Why you'd want 50 of these little speakers all connected together wirelessly, I have no idea, but you can do it. Stranger things have happened, I guess you could say. IPX67 rated, so it's proof everything. You, know, you can throw it in the water, ain't gonna hurt it, it's dust proof. Shock proof. They say these things can take anything. A hundred foot wireless range, hands free speakerphone. Let's see if there's anything on the back. 16 hours of playtime. It does have light mode, which I will go over here in a little bit. And it you can also charge your phone or other device via the USB that is included on the back of this. Uh, so it's handy if you run out of battery on your phone. Plug it in this bad boy and it'll juice it up. Now the speaker itself, as we can see, I'll put this behind there. And then they, another thing, these cases these come in, if anybody knows anything about Altec Lansing speakers, they're really weird. They're kind of hard to get into, but they're hard plastic. And I won't go through the unboxing of that. All that's in there is a micro USB for charging and some paraphernalia. Uh, I call, that's what I call manuals paraphernalia. Anyway. This one, like a lot of the Altec Lansing speakers, has like a rubberized kind of a case over it. So it's almost like you're getting a case extra when you buy the speaker. Uh, there you can see the button layout. You get the power. That's your chain button when you want to do uh, multiple speakers wirelessly. Minus and plus for volume and track back, track forward. That little star looking thing is your light mode. And then for your microphone, there's the microphone button. Now, on the side, here's where we have the micro USB charging port, 3.5 millimeter jack, and your USB to charge other devices. And this thing, like I said, is fully waterproof, so you want to make sure that that's nice and tight. It also has a threaded insert on the bottom, so if you wanted to put this on some kind of a mount, you can do that also which is handy. It's speaker's kind of heavy. I'll weigh it here in a minute. We'll see what it weighs, but it's got some weight to it. Uh, as far as the durability, like I said, this you got metal covering that, so that would that definitely dent if you hit that on a corner or something, but you can see the two drivers there in the camera. I don't think there's a radiator in the middle. I can't really see one. But on the back, you can see that there's a passive radiator in the middle. You can get a better look at it. You can kind of see that there's kind of a rectangle shaped. So we'll get the scale out and see what this little fatty weighs. Okay, so we got the scale out. And we'll put the Mini Life Jacket Jolt on the scale. And we're looking at 14.3 ounces. So it's a little less than a pound. Uh, for its size, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty heavy for its size, not terribly heavy. Just in comparison, we'll put the Baby Boom XL, which is only 5.7 uh, ounces. But it's a smaller speaker. I mean, as you can see, if I put the two of them side by side, you can tell just how much bigger the uh, Mini Life Jacket Jolt is. It's a thicker, bigger speaker. Uh, better speaker, actually. Of course, the bigger, the better. Usually with these, they have a better sound. And speaking of sound, we're going to do a little sound test right now. Okay, I've killed most of the lights in the room. I uh, will uh, show you the light modes on here. Now there's a few different ones. If you push the light button, as you can see, it's now it's just kind of cycling through different colors. 
and that's off. And that one just kind of slowly fades into different colors. There's supposed to be one on here that goes to the beat of the music. I'm not really sure which one it is. I may try uh, pushing this a little bit while I'm listening, while I'm <clears throat> showing the music. So, one of the things that this will do if you have a phone that supports it, it will sync the volume to the phone. Otherwise, the phone I'm using right now doesn't. It does not have a tone when you get to max volume. You keep pushing it, it doesn't have a tone. So we'll start off the music at 60%. Here we go. It'll go up to 80%. Seven percent, ninety three. Tech Lansing Mini Life Jacket Jolt. I guess the jolt means because it can take whatever you can throw at it. Uh, it's a good speaker. The retail on it is 70 or 80 bucks. That's, uh uh, don't do that. It is, uh, I would not pay 70 or 80 bucks for it. It goes on sale for quite a bit less. Seems like All Tech Lansing has about 10 of these smaller speakers in different kinds and sizes. Uh, with most of them, if you crank the volume up all the way or close to it, they will get a little distorted. And they're not the strongest in bass, but overall, they're a good speaker, but there's a lot of competition out there. But this one's kind of aimed at on-the-go use, outdoorsy speaker. For that, it's perfect, because it can take anything you can throw at it. Anyway, that's my review, and we will catch you on the next one.